Hey, what's going on, everybody? I know that we get a ton of questions about Book Clicker, and we have finally brought Book Clicker to the table. So I hope that you're ready. Go ahead and strap on in for this training, and we're going to go ahead and just jump into the meat of this thing. We don't like to waste time. So first of all, Book Clicker, I'm just going to read off what this is right here so you have a full understanding of their terminology, and then I will put it into our terminology in the way that we like to view it. So BookClicker.com puts the power to launch in the hands of authors. Newsletters are the most targeted and engaged audiences for launching a book. We believe that having a one-stop shop for author newsletters, newsletter services with proven track records in our industry will help you, the author, succeed. So that's the same way that we would look at it also. Basically, newsletter swaps are super important. They're the next best way outside of advertising that you can really increase the rankings of your book. We've seen some books go to the moon just off of newsletter swaps alone without any advertising. Now, of course, you want to advertise your books. That was just an experiment, but that just goes to prove how powerful these newsletters truly are and how much money you are leaving on the table if you're not doing newsletters. More specifically, on platforms just like this on bookclicker.com, where you can literally go on here. There's a huge database of different authors and things like that uh, that you can tap into. So... We'll just look at this right here. Some of the benefits, you know, you can pay authors in your genre to launch your book. It's not necessary to pay anybody on this platform. Everything is free, but some authors do offer paid newsletter swaps. Um, you can monetize your list and earn goodwill by promoting other authors. So you can earn money this way as well. This is not just a platform where you can promote books and that's it. You can also earn money from this as well as other authors. And then last but not least, you know, keep your list engaged and improve your also bots. Um, this one's really, really important because if we come over here to uh, Amazon.com, let me just go over here real quick, go to Amazon.com, and I'm just going to type in an author like this, Sarah J. Brooks, I know that her books are pretty indexed. So down here where it says customers who also bought this item, these are your also bots. So there's actually, there was a question uh, that came up that, hey, you know, am I able to do new newsletter swaps of authors that aren't doing, I mean, that are not in my genre? And I told them that, no, you, that wouldn't be good because if you're in romance and then you team up with like a nonfiction writer and have them like send your book out, it's going to mess this up completely. There won't be any romance books or anything related um, to your content. What's going to be down there is some romance books, yes, and then also the nonfiction books that are not relevant at all. You want to be promoted by authors that are in your genre. So if you're doing romance, find romance authors. If you're doing mystery and suspense, find mystery and suspense authors, and so on and so on. The rest goes without saying. So let's go ahead and jump back over here to bookclicker.com. Uh, we will just get started with this thing. You can, uh, uh, by the way, full membership on here is free. Uh, you don't have to pay for this uh, platform. As you can see here, they have like different things laid out. You know, they take 10% of the transactions and stuff like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and just sign up. So you can see that we have here MailChimp, AWeber, MailerLite, ConvertKit, and so on. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if you can integrate anything else to it just yet, but I will find that out. As far as I know, these are the four that they operate on. So what we highly recommend is MailerLite. We were suggesting MailChimp. They're not a bad platform at all. If you're using them, hey, kudos to you. Um, as you move on, though, you will see that the subscriber bill gets a little on the high end of things as you start creeping into, as, as you start expanding your business and getting a lot of subscribers. MailerLite is just really nice expense-wise. Their highest plan, I think, is like 200 or so per month. At that point, you will definitely be making well over $200 um, per month, and your mailing list will probably more than likely pay for that in a day. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up to MailerLite, and I'm going to just type in my name, so Jacob Walder. I'm going to go ahead and type in Jacob Walder, one, two, three, at gmail.com. You know, I'll set a password. Okay. Set a password. And then it wants our API key, okay? So I'm going to come over here to MailerLite. I'm actually just going to start from the beginning. So if, you, if you're here on the home page on MailerLite, you'll come over here, go to integrations, 
and then you'll see developer API just click on use and it'll bring you over to this page where you can see this now I don't recommend that you share this with anybody other than yourself this is a very important key basically access to like your whole mailer light account and the reason that we need it is because we need to give book clicker access so that way when we're sending out campaigns and emails and stuff like that they can aggregate the click through rates and the open rates over there so that way when people come and see your uh, promotion you know they want to do swaps with you they will be able to see that open record of how good your list is that's one thing I love about book clicker is that you can't lie on this platform about performance they're literally aggregating the most accurate information from this platform and plugging it into here so we're gonna go ahead and just create the account okay click save all right so right now we are not verified we are now in book clicker and we will do some just uh, research in just a moment I'm going to go ahead and verify this email. So the only thing you have to do is just click send verification email. All right, it was sent. So we're going to go ahead and log into the email. And just drag that over there. It doesn't look like I can log in just yet. All right. I'm going to type in my email. So Jacob Water. Okay. Put in my passy. Okay. So it wants to verify real quick. Uh, that's totally fine. I'm gonna just verify it real quick off of my phone. So okay. <clears throat> so we can see this one right here. It says book clicker account verification. We'll just click right here. All right. So this actually sends by itself automatically when you sign up, but it gave me the option to send it again. So I actually got this email twice. I'm gonna go ahead and just click verify email. And look at that, we're good to go. All right, now as soon as we do that and we get into our account where we're gonna be brought to is our dashboard here. So you want to check, <clears throat> I mean, you wanna look around here and you can see here, here you can set up your list books you know, buy promos on the marketplace and plan your launches. All of that doesn't happen right here, more so up here. So you can uh, go to your list, the different pin names that you have, as well as go over to the marketplace and then confirm any promotions that you have. You have some account settings over here too. This is your dashboard. So if I click that, it's literally just gonna take me right back to this page. Um, your messages that you may receive from other authors um, as you go through this process your profile integrations, and then also any payment information so that you can receive payment and then also uh, make payments out as well. So what we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do is just set up the list. So we're gonna choose the list that we have. This list is aggregated from MailerLite. So if I come over here to MailerLite and just go to subscribers, you can see that the name of the email list is Jacob Walter Romance. So let's just go over here once this loads up. Okay, we're gonna go to groups actually so we can see the name displayed here. There's one subscriber. This is obviously just a test account. So we're just um, using this as an example. So Jacob Walter Romance, that's the name. Just to verify it, boom, it's over here as well, okay? So once we see that, it will also show you the list size, how many people you have on that list. And then typically it will show the open and click rate. There will be numbers displayed here if you've actually sent emails out. And then your public pin name, you're going to create that right here for sale. This is just, you know, are you selling, you know, spots on the list? And let me just check that again. It's going to say a pin name or promo service must be selected for all active lists. So you have to create a pin name first. We're going to check out of that because it's not for sale. And we're going to just click here and we're going to add new. Actually, let me just click on this real quick. Sorry, we'll get to that. So we're just gonna click on add new, click the pin name first. We're about to be directed to another page, absolutely fine. So we're gonna have to add a pin name here. Um, if you're Amazon verified, Amazon verified meaning you just have a book on Amazon, you have added your book to your Office Central account. So you would have a page that looks something like this right here. Um, 
you would have your name here, you know, books up, of course. There's no books here because I've just taken them down since and uh, operate under pen names primarily and strictly. Uh, but your page would look like this. You would just grab your Amazon link to your profile. You would come over here and then you would just paste it in. Just before I do paste it in, I'm just look at the other options. So we also have non-verified pen names, so you may not be on Amazon or publish to Amazon, or that's just the way that you want to go about it. So you can just type in your author name there. And then we also have this here, so promo service. You can put the name of your promo service, so like Jacob Walters Romance Romance uh, Promotions, you know? And that way people will recognize you that way. Uh, for simplicity's sake and for the way that we will be doing it throughout this whole training and the way that everybody should be doing it so that people can find your books easily and make it easy on everybody, we're just going to put in the name there. So after it scans for it, it's going to verify it. You can choose whether or not this is a group pin name. Okay. And if it is, check that. If it isn't, don't check that. You should not be using a group pin name. So we're going to just uncheck that. Just wanted to show you that we'll hit save and the pin name was saved successfully okay so you can see that it's amazon verified your name will pop up there you can make any edits that you want which is just going to bring you back to that page we'll just click save and then if you want to you can add a book under this so it will give you different options so you can put your book title so we'll just put Jacob Walters Romance. I know my name is here, but that's just what it's going to use to verify. If Jacob had a you know author name, I would be able to put that there. Uh, launch date of the book. This is where you're going to be able to choose. So you're adding a new book now. So this is where you're able to be able to choose the launch date for it. So let's just say it's launching. Uh, let's just say it's launching on the 28th. Why not, right? We're going to just put in some random Amazon links there. So I'm just putting in Amazon.com. Okay, and I'm going to just put in google.com and apple.com. If you don't have these links, that's absolutely fine because we teach you to primarily publish on Amazon. So you more than likely won't have these links. It's absolutely fine. Put your blurb here. So description <clears throat> of your book, excuse me. And by the way, this is your book link just to double confirm that. The review count, so the data is not available. I believe it will aggregate this information from the links. I'm not able to do that, of course, because actually, let me just test that. Let's just test it out, right? You can grab a random book link. Of course, don't do this. This should be your book link. As you can see, it's going to aggregate in that information. So. It's going to automatically pull in the review count and also the average review, the ranking of the book, and the publication date as well. You can upload a different cover or you can just use the cover that is displayed here on the platform. But we just had to give you that live example because just so it made sense so you could see that in real life. So once you do that, of course we're not, we're going to delete all of this, but I'm just going to hit save. Okay, so we've added the book successfully. All right, so we will go back. And I'm just going to cover this real quick. Adding a pen name or promo service. It's the same thing as this, so you can just add another pen name, promo service, whatever the case may be. And then also under here, you know, you can add another new book. Okay, so we will go back to the main dashboard. All right, so this is what you're going to see. You're going to see you have no active list set up. So we're going to click set up list and we're going to get this ready for swap so that people can see us on the marketplace. People can start booking with us and we can start displaying our calendar um, for open availability. So we're going to set up lists. We're going to go to if you don't see this option, if it's just like you don't see the for sale option, just click on active list. Let me just click save to see if it disappears. Yeah, so sometimes they'll say this right here. I don't want you all to get confused. If it says you have no list for sale or please select active list, just click view all mailing lists. 
and you'll see this option pop up here with the list that you integrated earlier with your API key. So what we'll do is we'll just put it up for sale. Oh, actually, we'll go here. These will be unchecked. Okay. But what we'll do is we will check these because there's not going to be any price for these. It's just swap only. And then what we're going to do is just select the different genres that we're in. So depending on the genre that you're in, you can select it from here. You can choose up to six of these genres. Okay, so I'm just going to choose some just random stuff. Uh, not really random, I'm choosing it according to, because we publish a lot of romance, so I'm just choosing according to that. Actually, we don't do young adult. Uh, some sweet stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. And military. Okay, cool. As you can see, you can only have a maximum of six there, okay? So you can scroll through here. There's a bunch of different ones, romance, sci-fi, you know, suspense, thriller, urban fantasy, women's fiction. I'm just coming to the top. Action, adventure, chick lit, comedies, fantasy, um, historical horror, humor, lit RPG, mystery, nonfiction, and paranormal. There's so many things there, okay? So uh, right here is accept bookings and tell so you can choose when you're going to stop accept bookings So we're just going to like push this thing all the way out. You know what I'm saying? We won't book and sell forever Must be it within 18 months from now. Oh, okay. 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 No problem We'll just push it to next year for now. So we'll we'll set this to stop bookings till next year January 1st, but we will continuously push this out uh, you'll come back in here and edit it every time and just push it out uh, even further. So you can choose and change specific days in your sales calendar. So the these are different ones here. So solos, features, mentions, um, you can choose when you want to have these. So solos are basically uh, you're just sending just their book out, you know, nobody else. You're just sending their book out. Maybe you have a few of your books in there as well. You know, a feature, you're featuring them in there. I mean, you're just sending the, your, their book out inside of that campaign. A feature, you may have your books in there as well. I mean, you're featuring them in there too. And then mention, you may have a bunch of other books in there too. And you're mentioning them in there. Most authors want solos or features because they convert the best. You know, they're not lost in the batch of other books. But if all they can get is a mention, then they'll take it. Same goes for you as well. If all you can get is a mention, then you should take it. So depending on how often you want to send your newsletter out, you can choose uh, to book these different days. So solos, you can, I don't know when you want to send them out. So you can choose Sunday, uh, you can choose Monday, Tuesday, you can choose the whole uh, week if you want to. So just so you're not spamming your list or like everybody, you can like uncheck some of these and you can choose to, you know, only send solos out on uh, Mondays and Thursdays, you know, and then features, you can send those out on Sundays and uh, Saturdays and mentions, you know, those can go out Tuesdays and Fridays. So that way you're sort of like, or whoops, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, this right here is just choosing how many mentions that you can have like inside of your newsletter. So you can choose up to like as many as you want. Nine actually is the maximum. So you can have like nine books. You're, you're willing to put nine people up inside of your newsletter on that Tuesday. I'm going to just lower that number to like three people. Okay. So right here you can see your solos are Monday, Thursday, features, Sunday, Saturday. Um, honestly, there's there's no rules to this right here. It just depends on how often you want to send them out to your newsletter. You can play around with this. Everybody's engagement is going to be different. You know, everybody's genre is different. So these days may not work for you. Solos may work best for you like on Sundays or features may work best for you on different days. Um, it really just depends on how often you want to send newsletters out. The days, in my honest opinion, don't really matter too much. It really, what really matters is how often you want to send these newsletters out. So I would send these out, just play around with it, experiment, and then see what the click-through rates look like, see what the open rates look like, and um, how they're taking to it on those days, and just, you know, adjust and play around with it. Have some fun. It's all about testing at the end of the day. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and save.
okay and then we will refresh and let's just go back over here to see if we have to actually set it up yep so we'll go ahead and set this up we'll put it up for sale as we can see it's all zeroed out anyway so we'll just save it refresh it all right we'll put it over here so we've earned zero from this list that's no problem whatsoever it's not for sale all right so now that we have set that up what we will do now is we're going to have to start getting promotions and have people book on our list so it says that we don't have any reservations nothing going on because nobody's done anything basically because our list is live now you should be able to see it like in the marketplace so let's just go and see let me just type in i'm not sure if it's going to pop under my name or yeah it actually is so it's going to pop under my name you can see the list size is one um of course you wouldn't come in here and search for an author's name unless you know them specifically but the fact that your email list is popping up let me just refresh it uh i'm gonna have to take this out oops take this whole thing out and just search so everything pops back up but as you can see there's pages and pages and pages of different people swapping and stuff like that okay so we're in the batch somewhere. We're probably like all the way back here, to be honest, <laughs> because the list is so small that we're mixed in there somewhere. I'm not really sure where we are, but we are in there. So as soon as you make it live, people will be able to um, find you. You'll also be able to sort through this like by genre. So if you're looking for something in particular, you know, you just want people who are in romance specifically, then you can come over here and uh look at these email lists and then you'll see like the different followings like their or not their followings but their well it is their following but their list size the platform that they're on um their open rates and click through rates you know how often are these people actually clicking all these emails how often are they actually excuse me opening up these emails you'll also be able to see like what this list has available or or open so you can see it swaps only these are swaps only what this means is that they're not paid these are free so they're swapping so swap for swap this person sends you out and then you send them out as well on um, the solos you can see this person it looks like they are a uh, promotional brand actually so they don't do solos or features just mentions and they cost about 50 bucks so it's the same thing for just about everybody it's pretty universal um same process you'll see different price points beside each other um, just like on that screen we set our stuff up you have the option of pricing things initially when starting out we suggest that your whole focus becomes just swaps only all right so if you wanted to book on and the reason we suggest that is because you know you need to be focused on getting money from your books not getting money from your email list that's that can come later on and it is something that you can do but it should not be the main focus right now right now the main focus should be swapping your books building your email list up and then sending some of those books out um, over these newsletter swaps so let's pretend that we wanted to book with roxanne riley we would go ahead and click on book and then her calendar will pop up now the red indicates the dates that are not available so you will not be able to book on these dates um the grayed out dates are past dates so you're not going to be able to backtrack of course and then the green just like a um you know stop light or or go light green light is what i'm really saying <laughs> the traffic light <laughs> Uh, you'll be able to book this date so you'll see that she it's just mentioned you know swap only on that date uh, looks like that's just a mention and you can go through here looks like most of them are mentions it uh, doesn't look like she has her calendar open or available for any of these dates just yet she doesn't look like she's booking out that far so i'm going to click on this date it's going to show her list size open rate click through rate all that good stuff so i'll click mention just swap only I'm totally going to cancel this after and um, we'll select our book uh, Jacob Paul's romance which is the book that we have set up of course the title is going to be different for you um, you can choose to offer a swap or not if you're just wanting to just have her send you out then you would just submit it as that but if you're offering a swap then you would choose the email list that you have uh, set up so this is the list that came from Mailer Light. so it's this email list over here It's going to show up as a different name. It says Jacob Walter's Romance, but I put it into Book Clicker as my name. So that's what it's popping up as. So she's a mention. Uh, we can just trade her for a mention. You know, it's really whatever you want to do. If you want to give her a feature, if you want to give her a solo, you could do that. Excuse me.
you can put a mention and then just include a note. You can put anything down there that you want to mention to her, like, please make sure you send book cover and link when book is live. Or you could say something along the lines of, I have you, I have myself down as a mention, but if you could send me as a solo, it would be most appreciated. I saw your calendar. It was a little booked and you only had mentions available so let me know okay something along those lines um and then what we'll do is let me see i believe the auto subscribe to the list is like subscribing to her list so that, that way you can get notifications so we're just going to hit the auto subscribe whoops click one more time and then we're just going to send the offer off so your request has been sent, the seller has been notified, we will notify you when the seller accepts or declines this booking. So what this basically means is that when you have made a booking on somebody's calendar, they're going to let you know whether or not they accept it or decline it. So it doesn't automatically go into their calendar. You know, you can see it right here, it's pending until she accepts it. And then what will happen is you'll be able to come over here to the launch center. Now, whether it's pending, accepted, blocked, whatever the case may be, it's going to show up over here in the launch center. The launch center is basically like, you know, all the swaps that you have for this title pretty much. Okay. So if I wanted to add a different book, this is the book that we had set up. Remember, this is just our example. I could add another title and then start getting swaps for that book. So eventually you're going to have a bunch of titles here and you'll be able to sort through them all and see all the swaps that you have, all the dates that you have lined up and all that good stuff. Um, it's pretty easy navigating this platform. Now coming down here, uh, they give you the same option. This is pretty much like the marketplace again. So it says like buy promos for this launch. If we come up here to marketplace, it's going to be the same thing. It's, it's just different wording. If we go back, it, it's literally the same stuff. So I'm going to just go to Launch Center again, just so we can do it from there, since we've already done it from the marketplace, just so you can see. And I'm just going to filter it again by Jodra. Uh, let me see. I'm going to pick. Uh, I'm going to pick. Where's nonfiction at? Oh, here it is. It's in the list. Okay. So I'm going to pick nonfiction. You can see there's a bunch of different people here as well um, on this email list. And then all we'll have to do is just pick somebody, you know, just like we did before, book, get it on their calendar, you know. They only have two options here, so feature. And then you just plug it in, you know, you can offer a swap, pick it, what you're going to do for them, you know, you'll feature them too. Send it off and you're good to go. So that's pretty much how you uh, set up your promotions and get swapped. All right, so when you actually have like a request come into your account, the place that you would check for that is over here in pending sales activity. So your pending sales activity is really going to be any swaps or anything that's going on. Um, if somebody bought a promotion from you, that's going to pop up over here. If someone wants to feature you, do a solo, mention, whatever the case may be, it's going to pop up over here, okay? Now, uh, what's going to happen is the way that that works is they come over here to the marketplace, they search your name, or they don't have to search your name. They can um, just to see if you're on the platform. If they see you on there and then they are interested in you, they can totally do that. Typically, they're going to come over here and they're just going to do this. Like the, the authors that come on this platform, just like you yourself, you are wanting to, uh, how do I put it, get as many swaps as you possibly can. And it doesn't really, well, let me not say it doesn't matter who uh, you get swaps from because you can see not everybody is up to par um, when it comes to their open rate and click through rate as some others, you know what I'm saying? But you want to get as many people in your lineup as you possibly can and get them on your team, get them to accept these swaps, you know, send them messages and all that good stuff. And we already went over booking. So as soon as they book with you, it's going to pop up over here. Okay. And once that pops up over here, you're going to see so what you're going to see is something that looks just like this. So you'll see the notification pop up here. Um, it'll say that the person is requesting a mention or whatever the case may be. 
on this day and time. So you have a couple different options here. You can, you know, send a message, you can see the details page, and then also look at swaps and see the calendar. I believe both of these take you to the same place, but I always click on the details page. So we'll click on the details page. And as soon as we get over here, what we're going to do is then there will be no accept option. We're just going to do swap. Okay. So once we do swap, we will then pick the date that we have available. I mean, we're going to pick the day that we want to swap with them because they, they just requested a day. They want to be, I can't remember what day I put it. Maybe it was the 20th or 19th, one of those two. They want to be swapped on that day. And what we're doing is we're picking a day for them to uh, send us out. So this is what they have available on their uh, promotion calendar. So we're going to say we're going to take uh, the 21st. We're going to swap for a solo. All right. You'll then pick your book. Okay. And then what you're going to do is just accept, uh, uh, accept the swap. Then you have a little detail page here of like when you're sending it, who's sending it when. I shouldn't have picked the same dates, but um, that's basically what it's showing you right there. So you're sending this promotion then, and this promotion is being sent for you then um, at that date and time. So right here, you'll be able to see the recent request. So the recent request will show you, excuse me, it will show you the person that wants to send you. It will show you the date and time that they're going to send you. You can send them a message there. And you can also see the uh, details page there by just clicking that swap. And that's pretty much it, guys. So we appreciate you watching. We don't know where you're watching, but wherever you're watching this video, if you would, just like it, comment on it, share it with somebody. If you got something valuable out of it, please comment in the comment box. Any questions or anything that you may have, please put down there because we are here to serve. We want to make sure that you have as much value as possible. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.